A studio production vocational center is making a difference in the lives of young adults with developmental disabilities. They'll be here tomorrow for Stephanie's Day. It's a resource fair for families impacted by autism and other special needs. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson visited the school in Sherman Oaks to show us the program. I'm actually designing one of my own characters for a video game I'd like to make one day. 26-year-old Chris Edimagoldo has come a long way with his animation work and life. Diagnosed with autism at three, he was struggling as an adult. I wasn't doing anything for a couple of years. Yeah, I was um, lost. I didn't know what to do. He admits he was depressed, but it all changed when he got accepted here at the Exceptional Minds Academy three years ago. Exceptional Minds is a professional training academy and studio for individuals with autism. We train them to become visual effects artists and animators. Jeffrey Shapiro is the executive director. We transform expectations. We transform their expectations and we transform expectations in the public about what the potential and possibilities are for individuals with autism. This is the Monstar truck. He's part truck, part uh, pro wrestler. 38-year-old Peter Jensen is also one of those students who has been transformed here at the academy. Getting back to school is tough, especially if you're in this situation on the, on the spectrum is, is really, I didn't think I would be getting back to school. Uh, at least not this quickly. Exceptional Minds was started in 2011 by a group of parents who wanted more for their children who were on the autism spectrum. Since then, the studio has worked on nearly 200 movies and television shows. We presume competence and we have a, a program that really is designed for each individual student to thrive. Six students will graduate from the academy and then they come here to become apprentice in the studio and from here sky's the limit. I was fortunate enough to work on Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. I uh, did some work on the end credit crawl for Captain America Civil War. David Miles says he loves seeing his work on the silver screen. It makes me feel like I'm part of something much bigger than myself. It makes me feel like I'm contributing to something that's huge. In Sherman Oaks, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News. They and are. we've seen his work on Star Wars yes, and Captain Marvel, we're right? so impressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, Stephanie's Day is tomorrow right here at the uh, CBS Studios Center lot in Studio City. It starts at 10 a.m. Admission is free. For more information, go to kcal9.com slash Stephanie's Day.